First, we have Raylan Landry, Jr. Thanks, Jr. Raylan. Or welcome, and thank you for doing this. Um, the first question is to, to describe your costume in detail, explain why it is authentic to the time period, when it would have been worn, and why you as a woman would have been traveling the Santa Fe Trail at that time. And please explain your accessories as well. Okay. Um, so I'm representing a pioneer woman, which would have been during 1831. Um, my outfit is, the bonnet is to protect you from the sun, like your eyes from the sun, and then the, uh, the shawl is to protect you from the elements and it's a versatile thing, so you can wear it however. Uh, the dress is a long and with long sleeves, which will help you when you are out in the sun working and doing chores. It's also three inches shorter to help uh, make it easier to do work. And then the Shoes are leather, uh, which are sturdy for when you're walking and uh, traveling along the trail. Um, the garment underneath is not going to keep you full and to serve as hygiene basically during that time. That's my outfit. Thank you. Will you please give a brief history of Fort Lyon and its association with the Santa Fe Trail? So Fort Lyon served as a military fort uh, during the Mexican War, uh, which was between Fort Lyon, which went here, and Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, uh, which served as a like, military outpost, basically. Uh, that was on the trail. And then later got uh, moved after here and then moved later back to its original place, I think. That's that one. Okay, you've told us about Fort Lyon, now tell us about Bogsville. And tell us about the women that lived there, and how did these women influence history? Uh, so, Bogsville was um, the Thomas Boggs and Malga Luna. Um, uh, it was Mexican territory. Um, um, there was Michi, who um, her father died and they gave her the land and then uh, and then uh, I believe Thomas and his wife had cattle there 
and Josephia, she and then they uh, had kids, I think, and then they moved into um, Luna and Thomas's house, the children did after their parents died. And that's all I can talk about. Excuse me. Why don't you give us a brief history of the Santa Fe Trail, such as how and who started it, and what it was used for, and why it ended. So the Santa Fe Trail started um, with the Native Americans who were traveling between different nations. Um, they used it to trade goods and the reason why it ended was because um, the gold, no. There was railroads put in place, which was westward expansion, which they no longer needed the trails for. Thank you. 